So my life on the water started when I was about five or six years old up in New Hampshire. My grandfather bought uh, an old cabin cruiser, a wooden cabin cruiser, and we went up to visit him for a couple weeks and I just loved that boat, it was awesome. So we hung out with him quite a bit, uh, went up every year and hung out on that boat. Didn't do any water sports or anything like that behind that boat, but you know that's what got me into boating. Family friends started inviting us to the lake with them every summer. I learned to water ski and uh, kneeboard and do all that kind of stuff. And this was back in the early 80s. And we just kind of hung out at the lake every summer and, and water skied and kneeboarded and all that kind of stuff behind that boat. And that just progressed you know, throughout my life. When I graduated college, my first big purchase was a boat and uh, it was a 94 Ski Nautique. And ever since then, I've been a Nautique fan and I've owned Nautique boats and things have gone from there. Planet, Planet Nautique started back in 2002. Uh, my friend Luke actually started the website, he and a guy named Daniel out of Germany. I found it later that year just as a member, uh, but it only had about 300 members total. And so I contacted Luke and I said, hey, I'd like to help you out. Could I possibly you know, start working with you on Planet Nautique and let's see if we can grow this thing? And he said, sure. So Luke and I kind of co-owned Planet Nautique for several years and uh, you know, things went much better. I did some site work and some redesigns and things like that to make the site function better. Membership started to grow really nicely. And eventually the, the, the third person, Daniel, out of Germany, decided he didn't want to be part of it anymore, so he uh, moved on to other things. And then a few years later, Luke did the same thing, um, got more into photography and things like that, and decided his passion was there and not with Nautiques anymore. So I ended up being the sole owner of Planet Nautique, um, I don't know, maybe three or four years after 2002. And ever since then, I've just been trying to build it up as best I can and bring in as many members as we can get. Many. <laughs> I think the last time I counted, it was either 20 or somewhere around 20. Um, and I've had everything from, you know, early 80s fish nautiques all the way up to the latest and greatest G23s. Um, I like to restore the older boats and uh, I keep some and I sell some. I've had a ton of Nautiques. I've got, I think, five right now, ranging in ages from a 1981 up to a brand new 2019. You know, a lot of companies come along, they design products for a while, and they kind of rest on their laurels and don't uh, move forward with uh, you know, more innovation and things like that. One thing I really like about Roswell is they're always innovating. They're always coming up with new products that you know, the marketplace needs and the marketplace wants. And uh, they're, they're trying to solve problems like these, these board racks, the Triton board racks. There was a problem there. Nobody wanted the bungee racks anymore. And they came along with these Triton board racks that uh, have, have worked out so well. Everybody loves them. And, you know, that's just an example of what I love about Roswell, the constant innovation. I've been working with Roswell for several years now and what brought me into working with Roswell was the great products that they make and the innovation that we always see. In my current boat, the 2019 G23, we have um, R1 in-boat speakers, we have six of those. We have four tower speakers, we have an R1 12-inch sub and I believe an R1 10-inch sub. It's just incredible sound, you know, like, it's just incredible. I think the first boat that I had the R1 line on was either my 2018 G23 or the first one might have been my 2017 G23. The R1 line just blows everything away, you know. I'm in a lot of boats and you know, a lot of companies make good audio products, but the R1 line seems to stand out just above anything else that I've seen. You know, there's so much bass coming from my boat. Uh, the speakers sound great. The tower speakers project the sound just right. You know, it's, it's just hard to beat the R1 line. One of my favorite moments on the water, we did an ad adaptive ski event several years ago, and we did it here on Lake Norman uh, with Ray City Marine and some other people. You know, people who had 
I guess, kind of traumatic injuries. They came out on the boat with us and uh, we got them out uh, wakeboarding and you know they've got special wakeboards that they use and things like that. That particular time, that was the first time I had seen anything like that and it was just incredible. It's something you don't see a lot and I, I like that we were able to do that. Growing up the way I did and uh, you know experiencing life on the water with you know, friends of the family and, uh, you know, kind of extended family up in New Hampshire and things like that. Um, I always knew that I loved the water lifestyle and the boating lifestyle and the water sports lifestyle. And so I set a goal for myself years ago that by the time I was 40 years old, I wanted to live on the water. And I turned 40 a couple years ago and about five months before my 30, my 41st birthday, we bought our first waterfront house and it's allowed me to, you know, let my family experience what I always wanted to experience as a kid. Uh, you know, having the, the lake right here and right outside your door where you can go out and jump in the boat and wakeboard or kneeboard or ski or whatever you want to do, you know, very easily. Um, it's, it's been great. I think my family, my kids love it and, you know, we have a blast here. I think the water can help you relax and de-stress after a tough day or, you know, it's just such a peaceful place to go. You can go out, you can cruise around in your boat, you can jump on a wakeboard and, you know, hit the wake hardcore or you can jump on a kneeboard and tear it up or you can just go back there and just, you know, ride easy and slash around and do stuff like that. It's just uh, a relaxing thing to do and you know something I love and something my kids love and you know I think uh, you know more people should experience it. You know I, I guess I'd say to the Planet Nautique community thank you for being a member of Planet Nautique and uh, for anybody out there that owns a Nautique boat or an older correct craft even uh, check out our website planetnautique.com we'd love to have you check out our forums and participate uh, you know, we've got plenty of news and uh, press releases and things like that from Correct Craft and would love to have you.